Let's -a go. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? You already fucking know what time it is, man. A lot of people have been hyping up this fucking chapter, man. Now, One Piece had some pretty awesome shit at the end, but Oda, fuck you for breaks. Like, honestly, ugh. But, but this franchise, man, this is the franchise that doesn't fail me. Man. Oh my god, yo, it is, it is that time of the week once again. I've heard a lot of people say this chapter was mad fucking hype. A lot of people hype this chapter up, and I'm like, oh god, oh, is BC Toshi coming back? Is BC Toshi gonna bring back my greatness? Oh my god. Alright, but before I begin this chapter review, I just have one question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready for some motherfucking Toriko greatness? <laughs> Alright, that's right, man. You already fucking know, man. That is the theme song when motherfucking Toriko is fucking is fucking being read of greatness. This is the Toriko theme song right here, man. The John Cena of manga, man. Alright, let's just begin this shit. Alright, here we go. Alright, chapter 346, To the Golden Cookware. A, stu a son of development in the gourmet world arc. Oh! Yes! That is my freaking... That's my wallpaper, man. That's my wallpaper right there, man. Finally, a color thing of Toriko. Which is representing for the 37th volume. The 37th volume of Toriko! On sale in Japan Friday, December 4th. Nice. Excuse me. IGO, the Bishu Shukai, Neo and the Blue Nitro with delicious food on the line. All of their motives intensify. Oh my god, yo, this color page, man. It's beastly. Oh man, I'm loving this color page. Oh, oh the little mustache. Oh, you already know, man. Yeah, the, oh my god. This is mad hype. Great way to start this off. And what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, it's some kind of contest they're having in Japan. I guess rhetorical. Oh my god, that's the pose thing that they did for Bambita. I guess it's like these like fan-made drawings or something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Alright, here we go. Hey, what was that? That explosion just now. It came from the first kitchen. Apparently a cook that showed up out of nowhere. Finished preparing air on the spot. Oh, of course, that's Komatsu. What did you say? The very air we spent the years and years preparing. He finished it in an instant. Komatsu's power? I hear he's one of the chefs that came from the human world. Some chef named Komatsu. Huh? Uh, Komatsu? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, it's that chick. It's that one chick from, uh, from, from Blue Grill. Oh, shit, you know, the one that likes to read and shit. Oh, okay, so I forget her name, but th this is... There's a huge commotion coming from the cooking grounds. How well is it? The flavor of air at 120% taste. Is it the real thing? Oh, shit, damn. So, Komatsu really did, like, a really awesome feast there when it comes to that. Really nice. Honestly, I really got to give it to him. I never imagined this method of preparing air existed. Delicious. So, it was it was Chef Komatsu. Asarudi. Oh, Asarudi, that dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. That's the chef you had your eye on, wasn't it? Asarudi has very disintering eyes. He's had its eye on him ever since, uh... Day this march in, in this country. Well then, if oh okay, so Gigi says, well then, if Komatsu come passes, who else shall bring us to the soul world? Oh my God! In the cooking match, it ended in two to two even. Asarudi and Shudu's match didn't reach a conclusion. Oh wow! But it seems as though they have a similar level of skill. Damn, I didn't know that. So wait, so both the number on that same bold tide of skills? That's pretty cool. Not exactly, since you were able to use Warp Kitchen. Oh, the Warp Kitchen. Oh, my God. And we can listen to advice from the food spirits. We had a clear advantage in those matches. As far as pure cooking skills go, 
uh, as painful as it's to say, is there without a doubt superior. But Hatsu has been so preoccupied with ingredients that were delicious to begin with, and having eternal time to work with them. It seems that at some time. We simply forgot the purest applications towards food and its flavor. That itself makes it our loss. On top of all that, those were definitely not their best members. That Chef Chio that arrived later was clearly on a neural level. Of course she's on a different level. She's fucking Granny Chio, man. Of course she's on a different fucking level. This bitch is crazy. She's crazy for Cocoa Puffs, man. Like, this, this, she's not the one to fuck with, man. No, not with Granny Chio, man. What? No. All right. Not to mention, the chef that we're waiting for the entire time, Chef Komatsu wasn't even there. And Gigi's like, well then, shall we take all of them? I don't think we could possibly have too many chefs in this kitchen. But if that's the case, then we have a problem. Wait, what problem? We don't have enough golden cookware. Not even close to it. Yeah? Like, uh... Oh shit, alright, so Chef Komatsu, I'm so glad you're alright. Aw, and that was like kinda cute, like, she really does care about Komatsu. Without you there, the cooking match was pretty close. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. But I had no idea there was routes you can use through the back channel. It took me almost an entire day to get here by train. But all of you have already arrived, even though you were all just in that cooking battle. Oh, damn. It took him that long to ride by train? Holy shit. Talk about slow-ass express. So then, you understand the concept of the back channel, then. And that's exactly why we need it, huh? Are, are you... The five ten shells. That air. It was the absolute particle of flavor. Like nothing I tasted before. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Can I please have your autograph? Huh? Somehow I knew you were going to say that, come on, dude. So I got them for you. Yeah, right. You're the one that wrote those shows, GG. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Although, I wanted your autograph, too, anyway. So, alright. So I think we have a lot of pages for this. Oh, man. So, it's going to be pretty awesome. Anyways, there's a huge commotion going on here. With the sudden arrival of Chef Komatsu, all cooking has completely ceased. We need to get it started up again right away. And then, uh, Mock is like, I haven't gotten the whole story yet, but I heard the truth about this country's project from Komatsu. Oh, Mock the Gourmet Mafia! Yo, I love this guy. This guy was beast back in Ice Hell Arc. Hell, even the Cooking Island Arc, man, he did some epic shit. It is true that to prepare the full course, you're sacrificing the lives of the inhabitants of the slums. It's true, because that is the recipe. The recipe for God. How is it? That God, the main dish of full course Acacias, in, is in this country? It's not the original, though. Over the course of many years, little by little, Don Slime was able to gather seeds and fragments of the full course. And by working together with Judge of the Afterlife, E.K., E.K., whatever his name is, they are successfully reviving and reproducing them. Um, so back at the stadium, when Don Science said, No, <laughs> I love they brought that back from last week with the, uh, no. <laughs> like, like, uh, no. Like, I, I don't, man. I don't, I don't have, like, the, the actual ingredients, man. I just know. So here we go. So he met the original full course, right? Anyways, who's the judge of the afterlife, anyway? Speaking of which, where did Don Slime get off to? Excuse me, that's what I want to know. A recipe that uses humans as fertilizer. The notebook I saw back in the gourmet period long ago had a recipe like that. That was a... And this is the Kamatsu talking, by the way. That was a recipe that Chi-Chi, Kaka, and Chef Gigi all created, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I never thought. That was the recipe for... For God! Wait, 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 wait. What? That was the recipe for God. Hmm. So that's how they actually been cooking God. Yo, that's... Huh. Well, I need to read that back really quick. A recipe that... Wait, wait, I need to see that. A recipe that uses humans as fertilizer. The notebook I saw back at the growing period long ago had a recipe like that. That was a recipe that Chi Chi Kaka and Chef Gigi all created, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I never thought. That was the recipe for God. Dot, dot, dot. What? So, wait a minute. All that shit was to create God. What? All right, yo, I'm fucking mindfucked. What the hell is going on? Uh, hold on. Who the hell is skeptical right now? 
Ah, fuck it. I got no time for this, goddammit. I, I, I want to get back to that Toriko, man. That Toriko time, baby. You already know. To prepare God, a large amount of energy is required. God itself is a very powerful ingredient that can observe even the lives of the chefs that create it. This is Gigi's um, talking now. Originally, we used the lives of all different kinds of creatures, but they were infinite. Around that time, a new creature appeared, and that was humans. Humans were weak and yet clever and reproduced well. That made them perfect to use as slaves and fertilizer for the full course. Oh my god, this is getting even more disturbing than I thought, but very fascinating. So that's why you created the four beasts, so that right before God appeared, it can gather lots of humans as energy. That too is something that just occurred a few hundreds of thousands of years ago. Damn, that's a long ass time. In the scope of the history of the cooking of the full course, it's rather recent news. That's GG again. Before it was uh, Sky, uh, Sky, whatever his name is. Delan Sky, I think his name is. And then Mach is like, the reason the Blue Nitro spent so many years preparing the full course was all to find and revive the demon inside Acacia, yes? So then why is the full course preparation occurring here in this country? Oh shit, he's giving a creepy ass look. Originally, it was to revive Nine Smile! What? It was to revive. Yo! It was to revive Don Slime! It was? It's not now? Who knows? Why don't you try asking him yourself? Well, he's not here. Mm -hmm. So, in order to prepare God, this Komatsu, you obviously need to sacrifice the lives of living things. There's no other way. And Gigi says, long ago, there was one single person who was able to speculate, complete the cooking of God without a single sacrifice. What? Who was that? Rose Sama, the chef god, the chef god, Rose, what, who was, wait, wait, who was able to spectacularly complete the cooking of god without a single sacrifice, the chef god, Rose, what the fuck, oh my god. Yo, Mizutoshi, stop it, man. Oh, my God. Yo, this is mad hype. Now I know why people said they were mad hype after they read this. Oh, shit. So, wait, I gotta see more of this. Froze? That chef that was Akasia's partner? So then that means it's possible without using people as sacrifices. There exists a way to prepare God? Indeed. It is possible, but it requires techniques unknown to even we taste sages and the blue nitro. Also, it will require an incredible amount of strength and stamina. If someone tried to prepare it on their own, their life would be sucked away and they would die. Are you able to use food immersion? Hmm? And this is a, oh, chin chin. If there is a large enough amount of food to replenish my energy, I can take the place of fertilizer for several hundred people. Master Chin will help. I'll do anything I can. Me too. Mach is like, I don't have any interest in this Dawn slime. But cooking the full course was the whole reason we came to the gourmet world. Even so, I personally don't have the skill to prepare the ingredients to the strength to take on the Eight Kings. Well, that's true. I do agree. Because, he I mean, yeah, he's pretty damn strong, but not strong enough to take on and fight many of the Eight Kings. So, that makes sense. So, good shit from Mach. But, if my life itself can be any use of whatsoever, I even, I'll even i be even fertilizer for it if I can. And Rin's like, me too. Er, but I don't think I could go through without dying for it, though, you know. <laughs> Gigi's like, how very promising. Very well. Thankfully, since all of our cooking here is but a fragment. But a fragment of a fragment of God. Wait, a fragment of a fragment of God. Is that some like, weird typo they did or something? That's like weird to repeat it? We may be able to achieve it with just a few people using food immersion. But eventually, we'll need to cook the entire food course. And oh my god, fuck your messages, nigga. Oh my god, yes, almost. Jesus Christ, give me some time. I, I want to get back to Toriko, shit. That is why there's something that we must do as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Something we must do. Uh, preparing a full course, above all else, takes time. And the and the one that takes more time, time than any is the one that dwells here in Area 6. The fish treasure another. Yo, I thought I saw a dolphin. Oh, mad hype. Is that Will King Moon? Is that Will King Moon? Oh, shit. The amount of time it takes to prepare another is a pro What? 
Six hundred million years? What? Six, oh, six hundred thousand. I'm sorry, read the numbers wrong. I'm an idiot. That six hundred thousand years? Six hundred thousand years? Oh my God! No way! There's no way! But then again, if they have a really skilled chef like Komatsu, they can probably do it, but I don't get it. I just don't. I just, I just, I just don't get it. I really just don't, I just don't get it. I really just do not get it. What the hell? All right, hold on. I need to get back into this. What? Seriously? I can't even get my head around that amount of time. What we'll be using for that is the soul world. If we prepare it, there were the progression of the of it nearly zero. We can reduce the cooking time by a massive amount, but the problem right now are the tools. No pot or kitchen knife exists in that world. That could be used continuously for tens of thousands of years, no matter how many marvelous of tools they are over time. Not to mention the fact that they can't even be brought into the soul world. The only tools that can be brought here. Oh, what? Are you serious? Those are the seven tools said to be able to handle spirit food, aren't they? Indeed, in order to handle another, we need as many chefs as possible. Okay, so, uh, is it possible to enter the soul world? But the most vital part, what we lack are the tools. Oh, shit. Yo, we must gather the materials as quickly as possible and then create the golden cookware. Where can we find those materials? They can be found in the coral and shells that live here in the sea of Area 6. But they cannot be claimed by any ordinary means. Oh my god. Mystic Coliseo! There are powerful monsters known as the Seven Beasts. Oh, fucking jack it off. Yo, this is crazy. Alright, yo, what the fuck? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yo! Oh my god! Oh, the coral thing! Okay, we saw one on which was the coral. First, the mineral for the kitchen knife is the teeth of the Shark King Resme. But that doesn't say like what their power levels are. That's the problem. The pot's material is the... Yo, there's... Who's taking the third off, man? Yo, what's going on? First, the material for the kitchen knife is the teeth of the Shark King Rise. What? Why what? Rhizam, I guess. The pot's material is the rock. The pot's material is the rock from the Turtle King Pandora. Pandora! Yo, that's that's mad hype. The chopping board comes from the body of the Coral King Corlin. Yo. The frying pan is made of the scales of the Scale King Atlantis. Oh, that's a badass name. I like that. Atlantis. Atlantis. Oh, that's crazy. Shit. Right, here we go. The ladle comes from the legs of the octopus king Yamataka Orji. Yo, these monsters look mad fucking hype. The coral king, I remember him from the beginning of this arc. I do remember that. So we met him. But these creatures look nasty as shit. Yo, let's go. The apron is the skin of the sea king ocean. The sea king ocean. Yo. And finally, the seventh one, the spatula, is here in Blue Grill, taken from materials from the Clam King giant shell. Oh my god. Mad fucking hype, dude. One of the materials comes from this giant shell as well. Indeed. Uh, how many pages we got? Because I got a lot of folks PM me on the Skype. Alright, so I'm almost done. Indeed. And actually, this shell, giant shell, was originally the home of another. In ancient times where this shell was still much smaller, another used to hide itself from the Will King Moon. Oh my god. During that time, the endless flavor that poured out of another undoubted itself into the shell, turning the materials in, into a special flavor mineral. It is also at some time around then they, they, they whipped in here. Another is said to have surpassed the speed of light and vanished into the soul. Ever since then, there has been a distortion in space time here inside the giant shell. What? I was right on the money on that. Remember when we said how much time has passed since that fucking shell opened? Okay, they just mention it right there. There has been a distortion in space-time here inside the giant shell. Oh my god. 
The shell itself became the back channel, and the flavored mineral here became a strange material that could be brought directly into the soul world. So you're saying this giant shell itself is a back channel? Indeed, and this is Jesus, and eventually is also equipped with the ultimate safe zone that even the Whale King Moon is unable to swallow, because it is the very place that Miller surpasses speed of light. The other seven beasts are all the same. They all used to be nests, where another surpasses the speed of light. Oh, straight up, that's crazy. Passing the speed of light. Fucking Misutoshi. Only Misutoshi. That is why the seven beasts are the only things in Area 6 that can oppose the Will King. So, Mark says, so then another, another, another creature that could swim at the speed of light wasn't even worried about being attacked by the seven beasts in the last. So it chooses the most powerful beast that can the habitat. Just like how a clownfish nests inside of a sea and of one. Procuring their materials from their powerful beast will be no simple task. We'll go. The Gourmet Knights. Oh, we the boys are going in. I love the Gourmet Knights. Gourmet Knights. There are seven bees and there are seven of us. It's perfect. We'll go retrieve those materials for you. Rather, rather we beg your permission to go. Please let us put our lives as well to help. Amaru. Oh, Amaru, oh my god. And in that case, I'll help with crafting them. And turn those materials into the greatest pot the world's ever seen. Kurobo. And I suppose we'll need someone to hand and sharpen the knife. Milk. This, of course, that milk, yes. And of course, leave the cooking to us. We'll use those two to prepare another. And the rest of the full course as well. Oh, man. Oh, my God. All right, last page is starting to hype me up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gigi says, how very promising indeed. The whole lot of you. The food spirit door. And the side says, as they are uh, as, as they race to compress 6,000 years, dot, dot, dot. The time limit of its revival. A, a time limit of its revival approaches. Oh, good night. Oh, my God. What you say? Is that true, Judge? Judgy? The fuck? Is that true, Judgy? Without a doubt, Don. Even now, Neo is ready to revive at any moment. Oh, so this is before... This was before Neo was being revived. Oh my god, yo, that's crazy. Alright, I'm done, I'm done. Little, little side note here, I'm looking at. Little by little, the goal finally becomes clearer. Next chapter, cooking in the back channel. Yes, let's fucking go. Alright, there was a lot of exposition in this chapter... But a lot of hype build up there. Those seven beasts look mad hype. And story progression wise, now we know that they can't just cook another so easily. They need those tools from the seven beasts. And not only that, the clam thing is a safe zone where the whale king can't swallow up. So that makes sense. And now, now we find out that before the ingredients to cook God was originally supposed to revive Don Slime. But those are supposed to revive... God. So, a lot of great exposition here in this chapter. Like, so much hype. Build up. Like, it wasn't even funny, man. Like, oh my god. Like, yes. Let's go. So, a lot of hype. A lot of setup. Like, oh my god. Like, now we know exactly what the true purpose is. Now we know that's the only way that they can cook another. So, a lot, a lot of memory dump. But, very hype memory dump as well. Like, those seven beasts look really tough, man. Like, each one of them attacking them? Yes. Yes, let's go, man. Cooking in the bad channel. Yes, yes, let's go. All right, this is going to be some cool shit. And then, after that, we should finally move on maybe to, like, Area 5 or something. But, yeah, I'm done. Oh, man, yo. What a freaking chapter, man. Oh, my God. Uh, so, I'm going to get the chapter. I wasn't, like, yo, amazing, but it was a great. It was a great plus chapter overall, Toriko. So... I'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5. Just a little bit points off because, yeah. So, everything, it was great. It was a really great hype chapter of Toriko. Now, I would say that and One Piece will be tied this week because of the hype factor. Like, mainly, it's just a lot of setup hype. Not like hype as something went down crazy hype, but setup hype nonetheless. So, it was great. The only points down is I wish something awesome or cool or beastly could have happened to make that set of pipe more worth it. But whatever, though, regardless, still a great chapter of Toriko. 4.5 out of 5. Let's go, baby. Seven demons, man. I'm hyped as hell. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's chapter of Toriko. And I'll see you guys next time for more Toriko greatness. Next week, chapter 347, live reaction slash review. Satoshi, we thank you once again for another awesome, another great chapter. Good chapter. Hype setup, man. Let's go. Ikidakimasu, bitches. Be out. So, see you guys next time for chapter 347. Ninja Reviewer signing out. MMA Manga fans, keep supporting what you've been and what you watch. And that's it. Ikidakimasu. And we're out.